Oh, hello there. What is happening? What's up? Welcome to my channel again, guys. I know it's been a very long time since I've come on here and um, put out some review or talk about, or just talk in general, talk to you guys, see how you've been doing, see how you've been recovering since, you know, all the restrictions have been left, you know, all of that stuff. Like, how are we doing? You know, let me know in the comment section down below. Right, so I'm just gonna jump into this real quick. Uh, Andy Sign reached out to me a week ago by email and asked if I wanted to um, review one of their microphones. And it was my first collaboration. It's a, it is my first collaboration ever since I started this channel. So I thought, hey, why not? Um, so they sent me the product and today I'll be um, doing a review of their new um, shotgun microphone. It's called the M1 Pro uh, microphone. And it's a pretty unique microphone and I will get into that a little bit. Um, later on in the session. Um, what I'm going to do for you guys is that um, I am going to run some sound tests indoors for you guys. And then I'm gonna show you a video I did a couple of days ago with the outdoor testing. Um, and I do apologize in that video, I kept saying, Andy Cine, Andy Sign, please forgive me. But sometimes when I see that word C-I-N-E, I just think Cine. And the video was so good and I didn't want to waste any more time on this review. So I'm living in the UK, the, the, the good weather is not promised. So guess what? It started raining and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to put this out there because it's not about the, the pronunciation of the brand, but what the brand has to offer. So sincere apologies in the outdoor session. I will be saying a lot Andy Cine as opposed to Andy Sign. Right, so first and foremost, let's talk about what comes in this little microphone. So the microphone is on top of the camera at the moment because I purely think, for one, the people that are going to be buying this, or 90% of the people that will buy this mic, it will use it as a vlogging setup. Um, I can't really see it being used at a boom. I could be wrong because um, it fits into uh, a lot of your budgets as a, as a boom uh, microphone. Sorry, I can't even talk, it's been so long. Um, so my aim here to, the, the way I'm going to start this review off is that I 100% feel, I personally feel that, not 100, maybe 90%, I feel that a lot of people who are going to be using this mic will be using in this type of, you know, scenario, you know, they're going to be holding it in front of them out on top of a camera and they're going to be talking on it. Um, it, because of the small phone factor, I think people with even smaller cameras might stick this on there. Even people with GoPros might be using this um, as it's such a great um, little sh mic. And the, the sound, I can tell you now, I will let you be the judge of that, but I can tell you now the sound is really, 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 really good. I will tell you in the end what I feel about the sound because um, I, I don't want to spoil it, um, but it's a really good little mic. So let's... Um, jump into what you get in the box. And then I will put it up against the Rode Video Micro, which is very similar to this. And then I'm gonna put it up to a more expensive mic, the um, Rode Video Go NTG, just to see, just for different, just for laugh, because you know there are gonna be some difference. This is just a plug-in microphone, there is no built-in amp, so you'll be entirely depending on the camera's amplifiers to get that really nice sound. So you will have to do a little bit of tweaking to avoid some of those, um, you know, those noises. Um, I don't know what they're called, so I'm just gonna make them for you. Right, so let's jump into the box. So this is what you get in the box. So I think it's really, really good what they sent to you. So obviously you get the microphone. I will take that off in a minute to show you guys. On top of the microphone, you get a carrying bag, um, which, I probably will never use. Um, and I think I put something over it. Yes, you get uh, you get a muff, uh, a muff. <laughs> you get a dead cat, um, very nice dead cat for um, the product. Um, and you get two um, leads that would that you can connect to, and they clearly I don't know if you can see here, but they clearly mark. So this one here would be for your phone or tablet or whatever device other than a camera. And this one has got a little camera on top there. I hope you can see that. Um, and I think this is pretty, pretty um, 
nice because on the rolled one they just have different colors and they're well made and you know it's very well made product so you get one for the camera and one for your mobile devices um, and then you get some literature and you do get a nice lens cleaner um, like I like that very much so that's what you get in the box now um, let me put this aside because I'm just gonna I've not connect left that side for the camera and I'm gonna put that away put these away clear this table up put that over there right um, okay now so what I'm going to do I'm gonna take this off so you and show you what the microphone look like so I'll just pop that right off there and without the the mic cover this is um, what the Andy sign mic looks like now it's very small as you can see very very tiny and it's made of al aluminium and it's a very new, unique microphone and I'll tell you why on the um, the on the road version let's take that off so this is the road version of it struggling here to get that off on the road version as you can see it look okay it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit um, you know longer but they're pretty much very similar in the design weightiness and the functionality now here's what's really different about these two apart from slightly different sound is this on the road you get one um plug-in on and the and sign you get an in and out and that allows you to um have a second source of microphone so you might want to um if you are uh, doing a head interview you might want to plug a uh, mic into that so you can talk and then the other person can talk through it or if you want to have several of these microphones um hooked up and run it to the one source the option is there for that and i think that is pretty sweet i actually thought when i saw it first that it was uh, a way of checking your audio levels because some cameras don't have headphone jack so that would have been a nice touch if it was audio levels but guess what it's still quite functional the way that um and design design this mic so let me just connect this to my camera here on the, my vlogging style setup and i am going to just do a little quick chat um, so we can test the um um, the sound quality coming out of this bad boy and then you guys can tell me um, what's what so so this is what it sounds like on the Undesign M1 Pro mic this is the sound with the normal microphone cover this is the sound and I think this is where you pretty much would, would hold this out in front of you if you're vlogging on holiday. So this is the Andy Sign microphone and I'm just gonna um, just put that down quickly and I'm just gonna swap out, sorry about that noise, and put the dead cat on. I'm, I'm, it doesn't make a difference inside, but I'm just gonna do it anyway because I did the same on the outdoor testing. So I just, so this is what the Andy Sign M1 Pro mic sounds like with the dead cat on top of it. This is it. This is the sound. It's, you tell me. I know what it sounds like because I tested it already, but you tell me if this is something that you think you will invest in. Now I am going to put the road version on top. So let's get back to, let's just snap. So now I have on top here the Rode Micro uh, video mic. And this is the most closest mic you would get that us that's of another brand. So these mics are very, very similar, but they do have a slightly different sound. Now I will then tell you in the end um what this mic um sounds like to me, but I want you to kind of decide on that for me. So this again, this is what the sound sounds like on the Rode Video Micro. Um, shotgun mic this is now the road with a dead cat attached to the top this is what the sound sound like with the road dead cat um, connected to the road mic let me know what you guys decide on it and this is for the sake of uh, just you know just for you to 
you know, understand what you're getting for your price, which I will tell you guys in a minute, you know, how much these, these, uh, this M1 might cost. Um, and you can sort of run over and uh, purchase it if you do. Um, I do have to now readjust my levels because obviously this microphone has got a um, built-in amp, which is great. Um, and I will not have any sort of high pass filters on, so very clean, so you get a really good, uh, you know. So this is what it sounds like with the Rode VideoMic NTG. Now this is a very professional um, microphone with built-in amp, which will help you reduce any hissing sound that might come from your camera's amplifier. Because as we know, camera amplifiers are crap. You know, they're not as good. So this will, will you know, ease that problem. So this is what the Rode Video Go NTG mic sounds like with the normal muffler. Now I'm gonna put the dead cat on it. Um, I'm not gonna cut that off, so apologies for the sound. And I'm just gonna stick the dead cat on there. And this is what the Rode NTG mic sounds like with the dead cat attached to the vlogging style camera. So like I said, this I think this is most of the people that will buy the um, M1 Pro would be using it in this manner. Right, so back to you guys now. Um, so what, what, what is so different about this, this microphone, the M1 Pro? So you, it's very compact, it's lightweight, it's still got the Y, the y shape, it allows you to have two sources of recording, um, it's capable with smartphones, tablets, DSLRs, cameras, consumer camcorders, and it's high, it's a high performance, uh, super coiled, polar pattern sound pickup. It is a very directional mic, and I think because of the small form factor, it will be very, very uh, nice to take on holiday. I mean, I'm, I'm going away, um, I'm flying out in October. I'm not gonna tell you just yet because I wanna do a super vlog. And I think I might just use that mic and really put it through its test and see, you know, um, the abilities of it. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to jump on to, I'm gonna take you guys outside with me, which I and run through all the same scenarios that I did in here. And then you guys can tell me what you think about the mic, would you think it's better or X, Y, Z? So I'm just gonna jump out. So come outside with me guys and let me know. I'll see you in a minute. What is up, what is up? So as you heard from the inside um, video, um, Andy Cine has sent me their first M1 Pro shotgun mic, the mini one to test. And I'm telling you, as I said before, it's my first ever uh, collaboration with anyone, so I'm, I'm excited about it, and I hope from this day forward that I'll be getting lots more of uh, collaborations to do. So this is their M1 Pro shotgun mic, the, um, the micro uh, version, it's the small one. So here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna test this with the, against the, um, the Rode macro, shotgun mic and I'm gonna just throw in the NTG um, mic also just for you guys to get some difference in um, sound quality. So now at the moment I've got the mic on my EOS R camera and, and I'm using the 16 millimeter uh, lens which I've been waiting for for a long time before I did this review. So I'm gonna use the normal standard uh, mic cover and then I'm gonna stick the um, dead cat on each of these microphones and see what uh, testing, sorry, see what sound, uh, the sound quality is like, and you guys can judge for yourself what works better for you. But I think it's a really nice mic um, in terms of size and convenience. It's really, really nice. But as I said in the video on the indoor testing, um, you know, you can take, it's up to you guys, you know, whichever mic suits you. But, um, 
I've tested this mic before indoor and I will say that um, I found that the Andy Cine mic has a bit more of a true tone in terms of my voice sound a bit more natural. It's got a bit of a, a bass tone to it, which I like, whereas the road had a bit more of a, a trebly tone to it. I mean, you can fix all of this in post, but um, it was something I picked up on. But you guys can decide for you. But I do like um, the Andy Cine microphone purely for that more bass tone that you can hear. So now I've got the normal standard um, uh, cap on top, uh, cover on the mic, and now I'm gonna put the dead cat on and see, it's a little bit windy today, and see if there's any sound difference. So, right, we're back. And uh, now I've got the dead cat on the microphone, and this is what the sound quality sounds like with a dead cat on. Now there's a light breeze, um, so I, don't know until I get back in the editing room if it makes a very difference, but it should do. Um, not very um, a big difference, but it should do. And, and I will, but I will only know once I get back in the studio and put this together. So this is the Andy Cine M1 Pro mic with the dead cat on top. Um, let me know what you guys think. Now I've just slopped the the, the Rode Video Micro on top, and this is just with a normal cover on it. Um, the reason why I'm comparing these two microphones, they are the, the most identical microphone I've ever seen. Like literally, as you heard in the studio, they pretty much make from the same material. They look pretty identical, um, but the sound, I found that the Rode uh, sounded a little bit more trebly than the Andy Cine, but you guys decide. So this is what the Rode Micro <laughs> sounds like. And this is just for comparison reason because I'm today I'm only reviewing the Andy Cine M1 Pro mic, but I have to just compare it so you guys can have an idea what best suits you because these microphones are in the same price bracket which I mentioned in the studio. So this is the Rode Micro uh, shotgun mic. Now I'm back with the Rode Micro and this is what the Rode Micro sounds like with the dead cat. Like I said, there's a very light breeze today, so I'm not sure if you'll make a difference, but this is with the Rode Micro um, with the dead cat on top. Let me know what you guys think. And now, just for the sake of it, just to compare a very expensive mic compared to these uh, cheap under 100 pounds mic, this is the Rode Mic NTG, and this is about 200 pounds. Um, these have built-in preamps, so the sound quality is going to be a hell of a lot different because you're not totally depending on the camera's preamps, and we know what camera's preamps can be like. They can be a bit rubbish at times. The other two mics, the Rode Micro and the Anderson M1 Pro, they both rely totally on the camera uh, internal amplifier system, so you will have to maybe do slight tweaks to get rid of some at a hissing noise that they might pick up because you having to boost the camera amps. Whereas on this NTG mic, you can turn the mic, the, the amps on the camera completely down and just use the amp on the NTG. So this is what the audio sounds like on the Rode mic NTG with the normal uh, cover on the mic. I'm gonna put the dead cat on and then you guys decide. And last but not least, this is the Rode Video Mic NTG with the dead cut on it. Like I said, this mic is going to sound substantially cleaner um, than these other two mics, but I wanted to compare all three mics just that you can understand what you're getting for your money if you were to get the M1 Pro. It's a really great mic. Like I said, I've tested it before. It's a really, really great mic. It's nice for vlogging. It's convenient. It's small. It doesn't rely on any battery at all. It's just a plug and go. So run and gun style. It's a beautiful setup if you're ever on holiday and wanted to just plug in and go and not having to worry about batteries. Now, although the Rode NTG mic has its own internal battery and it does last a long time, there's always that chance of you having to um, charge it at some point. When you're away on holiday, the least you want to worry about is having to charge multiple batteries. So guys, let's jump back into the studio and I'll give my final thoughts on these mics and then you guys can comment on the comment section down below and tell me what you feel about the um, Andy Sin M1 Pro shotgun mic. Micro shotgun mic. Peace. See you in the studios. Okay guys, we are back from the outside 
Um, let me know what you guys think on the description down below. Let me guys know if you think that this is a worthy mic to pick up. I mean, it's only at, at, my, at my part of the world, UK, it's only $35.99 on Amazon. Um, whereas the, the road version is like 41 pounds, I think. And then the NTG, it's, you're looking at about 200 pounds. So let me know if this is worth the savings for you guys. Um, and let me know what you think of the, the, the um, Andy Sign um, M1 Pro shotgun mic. Now I've got here now, just to show you the, the size. So this is the road, this is the Andy Sign, and this is the road NTG mic. Now it's, like I said, it is, it is literally half the size of the NTG. So it's it's a very small mic, they're very capable. I actually love it. I love the fact that it's, you know, made from aluminium um, and it's weighty and it's not just some plasticky, you know, it's, you know, it's pretty well made, very well made. Um, so my verdict is this. I feel that if I'm being completely honest with you, I think the M1 Pro by Andy Sign is, for me is very it gives me a very natural sound to my voice it's got that it's got a more of a bass tone to it whereas i find the rode mic had a bit more of a treble tone to it and I, all of this can be fixed in post and that's fine but sometimes especially when you're vlogging you you just want to vlog you don't want to have to um you know make too many you know adjustment and tweaks and stuff but at the end of the day um, these are things that can be sort of over, not overlooked, but for not not even get into too much. Straight into the camera, the audio is great, um, and if you learn how to balance your camera versus the mic, you can reduce the, the hissing noise substantially. So for me, I pref I do prefer the M1 Pro. Um, and no, although I was, although this is a collaboration, I was not paid to to say anything. I'm just giving you my honest review about this mic. And although I'm a big fan of of, of Rode mics, I'm, I'm using their lav, of you know, I feel the Andy Sign M1 Pro uh, microphone is for me. It's a little bit better sounding than the um, the Rode uh, micro. Now I know Rode has released a new micro. Um, I'm comparing these two purely because they're almost identical um, and built pretty much the same um, and serve pretty much the same purpose. So it's only fair that, you know, I um, sort of review or make a cut the comp comp comparing. Yo, what's wrong with me? I think I'm hungry. <laughs> the, compar the comparison between the two. So yeah, guys, um, I'm just going to wrap this up by saying to you at the end of the day, um, I'm not here to tell you what, you know, what, uh, what to buy. I'm here to help you make the right choices for, you know, to save some money because, you know, when I started out, I spent a lot of money because I didn't understand. So I would buy things, resell it until I got to the point where I am today when I know exactly what I need to buy. Um, I don't buy to see now I buy because I want to, I need it. Uh, and I'm hoping that. I can save you a, a bit of money by just, you know, reviewing these items. And by the end of the day, you are going to do you. You are going to buy what you want, regardless to what I feel or how I feel about a product. But I'm only here just to, my goal, my primary goal is to help you make the right choices for your setup or for whatever your needs are, whether it's video or photography. Um, my name is Ashton Christoph, and I'm signing off. If you are a returning um, viewer, Peace. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share that video. For more content like this, keep subscribing coming. Peace out. Until next time. One love, people. Peace.